example, if the vehicle, the vehicle type is heavy truck, then the time headway will be multiplied by 1.8. And then the target headway will be 1.8 second. Similarly, with different aggressiveness, you are going to get different variation factors. And then you can calculate the uh, target headway for each vehicle. After calculating the target headway, we have this diagram. This is the following vehicle. This is the leading vehicle, and they have a current gap. Current current gap, G. The G is the current gap. It has a target headway. The target headway is in second. So if you multiply it by uh, their speed difference, we get a target separation in meter. This is target separation. So finally, we want to get this target separation. But currently, we have this gap. In order to approach the leading vehicle, that vehicle is setting another target, uh, target headway, or called adjusting target separation. So now it has this distance g, and it wants to approach this distance s. So it's targeted, targeted at this smaller distance called t. If it follows, if it's only uh, driving towards this position, because the vehicle in front of you may accelerate, accelerate, their speed, their distance will get, will get bigger and bigger. And that's why, although it wants to get this distance, they first headed for this smaller distance. So, which means they are going to drive out to accelerate faster. Understand this? In order to get x, they use t. And this t is calculated by s squared divided by g. S squared by G can be comprehended as S, S multiplied by a factor S over G. So it's equal to S multiplied by a factor. The factor is S over G. So when G gets bigger, the T gets smaller. And that's this. S multiplied by S over G. As G gets bigger, and S is constant, G gets bigger, T gets smaller. That's called targeted, adjusted target separation, T. With this T, Premix is going to calculate this cruising uh, uh, the acceleration based on several modes. Now, this figure is very difficult to understand. This is uh, the most difficult figure. I want to explain it uh, in detail. Similarly, this is delta v, but it's different from the figure of Vsim. This is the uh, this means the, v, uh, the distance uh, increasing. This means the distance decreasing. So different uh, direction. This delta v means the vehicle leading vehicle speed minus the following vehicle speed. So when the delta v gets bigger, the distance uh, rel relative speed. Sorry, I forgot. Uh, so delta v is equal to the fall leading vehicle speed minus the falling vehicle speed. Understand this? I'm, I want to emphasize this. And this is the relative distance or headway. Okay. Now we have uh, this line called target headway or uh, s. This is s. For example, one second. One second. Oh, this is not this. It's headway. That's okay. One second. This point means one second vertically. And this means zero difference. Vehicle has no speed difference. And this point will mean the vehicles are having, or are, they are now having a one second headway, and their speed has no difference. So this is the point that a vehicle wants to get. But why do we see these many arrows? Let me analyze them. At this point, the vehicle ahead of it is accelerating. I mean, relatively, is accelerating. But the speed, but our speed is very small. And what will happen in the next time step? The vehicle ahead of me is, because the vehicle ahead of me is 
accelerating relative to me, we are going to get a bigger headway. Correct? We are going to get a bigger headway. Understand this? Bigger headway. And our speed difference and Let me use another easier way to demonstrate it. So this is the following uh, leading vehicle, and this is the desired time headway. Now it's here. The following vehicle is here. And we know this vehicle is traveling faster than the current vehicle. As a, way, as a result, in the next time step, their spacing will be bigger. And in this case, do you want to accelerate or decelerate? I mean, do you want to let the delta V go bigger or smaller? Because you are already in a smaller, very small distance, so you would like to let this car accelerate. And that's why you want, uh, in the next time step, the delta V is bigger. So the vehicle is traveling relatively faster and faster so you can reach a safety distance. And that's the explanation of this point. But in this case, if the relative speed is already big enough, then you probably want to make it smaller. So if this vehicle is very fast, then in the next step, uh, step you may want to uh, accelerate it a little bit, so your speed difference gets smaller. Understand this region? Now let's consider another case here, any point here. This means the vehicle here, and our vehicle is beyond this target vehicle, uh, target headway, and the delta V is big. The delta V is positive. As a result, this vehicle will try to accelerate to reduce the delta V. But in the next time step, it's still going upward. The headway is still increasing. Correct? In the next time step, their, their gap will be bigger, but their speed difference will be smaller. And that's why the arrows are towards in that direction. The speed, uh, the headway gets bigger, speed difference gets smaller. Any question about this, this phase? About this arrow? Here, the magnitude of the acceleration is represented by this arrow. But let's see. In the third case, the leading vehicle, the following vehicle, and the following vehicle is having a minus delta V, which means its speed is already bigger than the vehicle ahead of it. Then it probably wants to reduce the delta V. I mean, any region here on the left, on the left of this y axis, it may want to reduce the delta, delta V because it's only, uh, they want to, at any, any point in the figure, first of all, you want to know the, they, all, they are all going toward the center because they want to approach a zero speed difference. And they want to approach this time headway. So that's why they are oscillating. And their trace, the trace on this diagram can be represented by these swir swirling uh, arrows. So do you understand this third case? Uh, at any, for any arrow, for any point in the, C, the region C, they want to decrease the speed difference and they want to decrease the headway difference. Also, any question? Any question? Do you really understand this speed? So this is no longer the time-space diagram. Uh, at least, it's not a time-space diagram that I introduced. It's another diagram. It's very unique in dynamics. I think they invented this diagram to confuse the readers. 
Uh, are you already understanding it? Okay, good. So let's take a look at this figure now. They divided this fi the figure, the area, into three sub areas. This area, under the dash line, target head width. In this case, the acceleration will be uh, a constant multiplied by delta v. So they use this equation. And after that, they change the equation to plus something, um, to, to plus k3 multiplied by this thing. But it doesn't matter at all. Because the k3 they used, it was very small. Here, the k2 and k1 are equal to 1. Mention this. Uh, okay, I decided not to talk about these equations. But I want to talk about three areas. This first area, this another area, and this is the third area. The third area is restrained by the maximum deceleration. So there's no point here, because you cannot exceed the maximum deceleration. There are two cases called stopping or accelerating. Uh, I try to understand them, but according to the, the, the manual they have, the reports they have, I couldn't fully understand them. I can only tell you why I'm, what I understand. This curve, K3, means the stopping curve. When the vehicle is braking, when the vehicle ahead of me is braking, I will also brake. And that makes our speed difference constant. Correct? The vehicle ahead of me is braking, I'm also braking. We are both using the maximum deceleration. So our relative speed difference is constant. Another case, the vehicle, both of the vehicles are accelerating using the maximum acceleration. So the diff speed difference is not increasing, uh, it's not changed. So this, uh, this arrow means uh, acceleration, full acceleration. The arrow D means stop. But I just don't know why they put these two uh, terms here, activation distance, stopping distance, because they didn't introduce that in any report. So I couldn't understand that. Sorry for that. In order to change the parameters, you go to parameters, core models, you will see you, and 